10-10 as we head to 157 pounds. Jake Short, senior for the Gophers. He'll get the freshman, Kyle Cochran, for Maryland. And for short, Jim, it's been an up and down season for him. Yeah, it is, and it's an opportunity for him to help his team out. Short, uh, yeah, he's, he, I think he's got a lot of talent for this weight class. And, you know, he, he's, we've seen him at, you know, 49 through a lot of his uh, career, but uh, he's got the ability to be able to, you know, keep matches tight and being tough out. And you see him giving up a little leg shot right there, and able to, uh, lock it out and I think for short maybe the key for him would be just not to, to go ahead you know he's going to be in defensive situation where guys shoot on him but he's got to go ahead and foul that up with some offense of his own nice little left-handed high crotch shot right there three Comes, tops a single yeah he's going to go ahead and bring look at Cochran center. showing some good balance but then he's able to get him to turn out on that technique so you know got to remind ourselves that uh with the you know the forfeit out there at 184 in this in this uh duel Pretty big thing here. America, Maryland can continue to show some competitiveness. They can, they can be in here for the upset. Short. 10-10 ten, ten, ten is a surprise. Match away from being an All-American last year down at 149. Out of Intergrove Heights, Minnesota, Simley High School. Wrestled for his father. Will was an All-American for the Gophers. And his uncle Chris was an All-American as well for Minnesota. Short leads it 2-0, 140 first period. Working on that riding time as he nears a minute. Working hard in the top position with that head fulcrum right there. He's got that now wing, winged up pretty well. Short was a four-time state champion at Simile. Has an arm bar. Cochran. Yeah, he's trying to build a base. Yeah, but what we didn't see before here from the Maryland wrestlers in the bottom position, it, it, I guess that uh, Angel Rivera is going to call him for stalling again, but uh, I think he's doing a pretty good job of trying to fight out of that. Now he's limping out of it. Again, working yourself back up to your base without giving up that side tilt is a real challenge for guys with how good some of these wrestlers are in the top position. Hey. Cochran, a true freshman out of Paramus, New Jersey. Three-time state place winner, won a title as a junior, runner-up as a senior. And you can speak about this, Jim. Kerry McCoy said he got to find that balance as far as what he's good at, but at the same time, you know, getting him to learn new skills. Yeah, that, that's a challenge for everybody, you know, even, even your national champions because everybody's out there scouting you, you know, and nobody's... Not a lot of guys are out there scouting Cochran at this point, so you've got a lot of things to go ahead and build on. But just looking for competitiveness. And so, and, and then, not to say that that roll through wasn't the, the right thing to do, but maybe it's a, a half a second earlier or half a second later. It's just getting a good sense of timing out there. And you know, more so than anything, is that, that you, you, after going through a full season of competition. You begin to understand the things that, that you should work on by looking at your teammates that are successful or looking at some of the national competition that's successful. What are they doing? You start asking yourself some tough questions. How can I acquire these skills? And you're, you got to make your off seasons a heck of a lot more productive. Coach McCoy spoke about limiting the mistakes and just looking for a good match. Compete. Said if a guy beats you in certain positions, that's one thing, but don't make the mistakes. Don't turn into a cradle. Yeah. Things like that. Wrestled Langendorf of Illinois. That was his last match back on January 28th and said it was a situation. He was deep in on a double, didn't finish it. 0-0 first period and got pinned early in the second as yeah, so short tacks on two more. Yeah, but the things that you see short do out there are are, are so pure. When he, when he gets on his offense, it, it, see how his reactions are solid right there. I mean, he, he's got the skills to kind of climb the ladder. This is, might have been... You know, the regulars, look at that anticipation that he has. I mean, he, he can do that against some of the best wrestlers in the country. No question in my mind about it. Shorts won two of his last three. Beat John Van Brilla Rutgers four to three in Piscataway. Eight two, short up. Riding time over two and a half. Bring that wrist back. Yeah, kind of thread the needle right here. Get the left right arm through. He goes ahead. Turns the shoulders over. This will be tough for Cocker to stay out of. Guys, his head off the mat. 
Short looking for a pin. Going to settle in. And he's going to get it. Jake Short gives the gopher six more. Short now 12 and 9. And I think you bring up a good point. He could be dangerous in Cleveland. Yeah, and it, with, the, with the seniors, you, you're not, sometimes you're not as concerned at that, that, that last, uh, uh, you know, take a look at the fall here. He's able to thread the needle. When you're trying to pin a guy, if you can keep his head off the mat right there, the only thing that holds himself up is the shoulders right there, and that's the, the job he was able to do with Short. So Short building some momentum, 